general of police yesterday addressed the media and uh, said that uh, there were fake policemen that operated in Kogi State. And I was saying that um, it is a big problem for us as a nation if um, fake policemen will overpower 66,000 policemen that were provided for Bayelsa Kogi election. Then that means we are in a very precarious situation in this country. That means no one is safe. And I want to say, if there are fake policemen, the guns they use, were they fake? And um, was it also a fake policeman that was uh, uh, flying the helicopter of the Nigerian police? Was it also a fake policeman that was shooting from the helicopter? Was it a fake policeman that was releasing tear gas from the helicopter? And the policemen who used the governor's convoy to hijack ballot papers, were they fake policemen? Um, the SA to the um, uh, governor on security, Commander Omodara, uh, Omodara retired um, naval officer, is he a fake policeman too? Um, the Speaker of the Kogi State of Assembly carrying ballot boxes, is, it a fake, is, he, a, is he a fake policeman? The ch former chairman of Kapabunu local government, is he a fake policeman? The former acting governor of Kogi State uh, and former Speaker of the House of Assembly, Clarence Olafemi, who hijacked ballot boxes in Ward 1 and 2 in Mopa to his residence and completed all. Is he a fake policeman? So we are in a very precarious and perilous situation in this country. And I want to believe that if justice is not done, then Nigeria has become a banana republic, then everybody will go for self-help. Right,